it, it could have been I was misunderstood, but all those movie watching actually led me to do my broadcasting bachelor in the University of Malaya. Uh, I now work, work for Shell Malaysia as a sales and operations manager. What I'm saying is basically, there are a lot of children out there who don't have these opportunities, and they really put the children in Iraq and Malaya there. And I celebrate the process. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Tell me something. You know, Tamil, I'm pretty, but like I'm a very far now. Sorry. So you don't have to. What I'm trying to say is, the opportunity, the awareness that when we saw the boy in the, yeah, the video yeah, and everything, yeah. there's a lot of children out there yeah. who that self-realization does not come to them at an early stage. Yeah. But the community is at a stage where now we need a quick fix. Yes. And for me, it came when I was about 18, 19. Mm. But all of us in this room are successful in our own ways. If every one of us could reach out to one of those child out there and try to help in any way possible to bring the awareness in them, we will definitely be better. That's my point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lingage, just a bit there. Mm -hmm. Just that, a bit there, Lingage. Yeah. Shusmita just highlighted, sorry sir, Shusmita just highlighted to me something that I think you need to say about your parents, Lingesh. It's your prime time, you chose to speak, so finish it off. Uh, okay, I don't say this much, but both my parents are blind. Uh, they physically handicapped, zero visibility. So I grew up in an environment where my parents could not see anything. So that's why I went on a long, wrong track and then uh, came back somehow. So we doing quite well now. You're the man. Yes, sir. Um, my, my apologies, Ringesh. But uh, the points you were making were valid and they were actually in the minds of many other people and I was addressing that. But uh, my, you know, hats off to you for having made it thus far in life. And that's amazing. That's what we should all try to emulate. But your statement, there wasn't a question though, I think it's a statement, therefore, your statement I like to answer as well. In our company, we actually, you know, we've been signing checks for a long time, you know, giving to this, that and the other, ranging from tsunami to so many things else. But a check reaching and, you know, actually doing something is a different thing altogether. So recently we began a program called Rhythm, and in, uh, I'm sorry, called Footprints under our foundation called Footprints. And in Footprints, what I went back, I appealed to my people, to my staff. We have some four or five hundred staff here in Malaysia and uh, for a thousand across the world. So I went back to them and I said, look, I don't want your money, but I need your time. Can you give me a few hours in a month? And we had a group of volunteers that straggled forward and a group of about uh, 40, 30. How's that, Sujita? Yeah, the 30 odd people first came in. And we got children from various homes across, uh, you know, PJ. And, uh, you know, children have been abandoned and so on. And we got our people to come in a few hours every month to sit with these children, to give that same direction you're talking about, Lingesh. To sit with them, to, to mentor them, to guide them. It was such a powerful, rewarding experience that when we had that first phase of that graduation, uh, it was so emotional. Then we doubled the numbers in, in Malaysia, and we're carrying it forward to Jakarta, to Manila, to Singapore, and to Hong Kong. And we're doing that by going out to the community and working with these kids, giving time instead of money. So that's my answer to you, Nagesh. Thank you, Dr. Vijay. One more question. This is a question, right? Yes, sir. No, we are Tamilians. We tend to make statements more. <laughs> anyway, please, go ahead. First and foremost, I'm very proud that 500 like-minded people, Indians, we are here together to listening to million S here down there. Okay. First thing I want to feel like, like one linguist told that we don't give them, we don't go out and share opportunities. But the thing what I found out was we are there to give opportunities, but what do they want to do? But when we are trying to give them, they tend to take back few steps backward. And like what Dato said, being in entrepreneurship in IT world, it is very important today. But when we are giving them, they are not taking it fully compared to the Bumi Putras or Chinese. So where are we doing our mistakes? Is it we are getting the same mindset from our parents? Or you can't blame the parents for everything. Yes, sir. <laughs> but um, I tell you what, you know, it's a very good point. It's a very good question. 
And uh, like I said, it starts with unarchy. You must have that desire. That you, you saw those two children. They had desire. They had that, you know, one willingness. And, and you see it also in the culture, you know, and um, we need to be able to convey this. There is one single message that today's seminar can get back to the kids is to tell them that they can. There's a Tamil, you know, since you like movies so much, there is a movie out there, something, Unnal Mudiyum Tambi, right? I'm telling you, Unnal Mudiyum Tambi. Seyidhi Kaatunga. You must send that, that message very clearly out there that, yes, it can be done, it should be done, it must be done. Then, then you can get them out there trying harder. It starts with trying. If you are afraid of trying, we have nowhere to go. Then we accept everything that we get. Are you with me? We need to basically be just that little bit more hungry. We need to actually want to be the best. And we can be the best. That's why I'm talking about our culture. I'm talking about our language, our culture. Tamil Kalvi, Tamil Panpal, Tamil Isai, Tamil Moli Pesanale. You're going back 4,000 years every time you speak because there is so much to touch and to be, en to be, rich, to be enriched by. Vivekananda, in his most beautiful speech, when he went out there, he says, Arise and away, Alumangal. Otherwise, our, our, we just go back to sleep. It's our nature to go back to sleep. We have to combat it. You give in, you give up. It's as simple as that. If you don't give in, then the world is yours. And I'm telling you, when the Indians decide, and when we put our minds behind it, and put our hearts into it, then the world will tremble. Thank you, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dato E. DJ Iswaran, absolutely fantabulous this afternoon. Dato, please remain on stage, Dato. Dato, DJ, we've got to pull you up again, sir. Dato, DJ, Momento, Dr. Siva, on stage. You'd be receiving two, sir. One for you and one for your wife, Dr. Maya, which is not here today. Vijayaratnam Foundation is also one of our premier sponsors. Thank you very much for all your contributions, Dr. Maya. To that end, and parents of Dato Vijay, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for the both of them. <laughs> parents to Dato Vijay will be receiving the mementos on behalf of the foundation, the Vijay Ratnam Foundation. certainly love to have Dato Vijay and his parents a lot longer with us. However, Dato Vijay is off catching a flight right after this and also that time do not permit us. Thank you Dato Vijay for your words of wisdom. Today will be a memorable day for the hotel because of all of you that is attended today and also for all the participants this afternoon.